Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 305. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 302 to 306. Hey, in this one, we have some numbers and we want to add the digits. So here we want to add 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. The first trick is, is we have to extract all the individual uh, digits, which we've seen in some other videos. And I actually have some, some links up here for other videos. Um, and even before that, for us, since we're going to add them, we need to get rid of that uh, period right there. So I'm just going to start off by doing substitute, substitute. How about equals substitute? And Because we want to get rid of that uh, decimal. So I'll say find the decimal and get rid of it, put a blank there. So here's the text, comma. The old text is double quote, period, double quote. The new text we want to substitute is double quote, double quote with nothing. Control enter, and then you, we can see that that at least gives us all the digits. Now, around that, we, we need to do, uh, we're going to use mid function, and we're going to use the row and indirect function, um, which is a trick we've seen a few times before. I'm going to click F2. And actually, I'm going to copy this because we're going to need this twice in our formula Control C, and I'm going to say the mid. The mid of what? That is the text string, which is uh, that without the decimal. And then comma. Since we want all of the characters to be extracted, if we could have an array as this starting number and have the numbers 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4 as an array, then it would know to have one of them start at 1, one of them start at 2, one of them start at 3. So the way we do that is row. And row of what? Indirect. Indirect. And indirect will take a reference as text and convert it back to a reference. So in quotes, I'm going to say one colon, end quote. And I really want one, two, three, four. So I want one to the number four. And down here, it's going to be a different length. Here, it's going to be two. Here, it's going to be whatever eight those are. So I'm going to say ampersand and the length of this the length of that, except for I can't use that because it's got a decimal. Now, I probably could just put the length minus 1 uh, in this case. Uh, and that would be if I didn't have any other decimals. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm not going to use that substitute a second time. Length minus 1. Now, I'm going to close parentheses on the indirect. Now, I can highlight this row in indirect and hit F9. You can see it got the number 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to Control Z, and that's what we want in this case. Comma, and then this, the number of characters each time is going to be 1. Close parentheses. Now, let's look at this, zoop, and then hit F9. You can see now it's got the number 1, 1, 2, 1, which is what we want. But notice it's in quotes, so it's text. Control Z. So to this, I'm going to add 0 plus. 0. Now if I um, highlight this and hit F9, you can see those are numbers now, not text, because there's no quotes around them. Control Z. Finally, to um, add them all up, we could use sum in the sum function and then Control Shift Enter, or we could just use sum product. Sum product all around that. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. And sure enough, now it added up those digits. Now, I, this, is, this is a question I posted to the uh, Mr. Excel message board. And uh, Rod gave us this great answer here. He actually took um, text. He texted that substitute thing. And he knew that there's up to 15 significant digits. So that's the most you could ever have in that cell over there. So he repeated um, for the text function, you have to do a number format. And when you have 15 zeros, that means you can have 15 leading zeros. Well, if there's 15 digits, then there are no leading zeros. And that got um, gets around the fact that this thing uh, right here, when he does just 1 to 15, could give him some errors. See, I did e the 1 and the len, which gave me a variable length. But he just did 1 to 15 and then fixed that problem over here by adding this uh, 
leading 0 format. So when it extracts all 15, there's mostly going to be a lot of zeros. And actually, if you run formula evaluator on this, you can see that that's exactly what happened. Not only that, but at this text string, you can see uh, Jay Bucherer, uh had an amazingly simple uh, VBA solution. And I added this in as a custom function. So if you want to see that one, you can go uh, look at that link right there. That's the uh, string. All right, uh, that's how to uh, sum the digits. We'll see you next trick.